In this video, we are going to explain all types of flanges used in the oil and gas sectors. So, if you are working in oil and gas and dealing with piping, you must continue watching this video till the end. This will help you to be expert in piping and piping components. Also, if you enjoy the video, hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe our channel for regular updates on new videos. Before we shall start to learn the types of flanges, let us first understand what a flange is. A flange is basically piping component that connects other piping components such as valve, pipe, pump, or other parts to a piping system. Flange also offers ease of dismantling, cleaning, or modification of a piping system during inspection or shutdown activities. Next let us see the types of flanges faces before we continue further. Three types of flanges face you will observe during inspection. Flat face also called FF, raised face also called RF and ring type joint also called RTJ. Next, let us learn how to read the flange marking. Each flange has hard punched marking on it. And each number has very important meanings such as company name who made the flange, class of the flange. Nominal size of the flange in inches. Flange schedule. Material specification. Flange material of construction and heat number. Now let us start our main topic of this video that is type of flanges. At first number is most widely used flange type the weld neck flange. The flange has a ring and a taper part that connect with the piping by welding. The taper part provides sufficient distance between the flange ring and the weld joint for ease in welding and radiography of the welding joint. Weld neck flanges are used for high pressure application in process piping. At number two is slip on flange. A slip-on flange is connected to the pipe or the fittings by two fillet welds as shown here, outside and inside weld. Number 3. Socket weld flange. Socket weld flanges are connected to pipes using a single fillet weld from outside as shown here. Socket weld flanges are used for small size and high pressure piping that do not transfer highly corrosive fluids. This due to the fact that these flange types are subject to corrosion in the gap area between the end of the pipe and the shoulder of the socket. At number 4 is lap joint flange. A lap joint flange slips over the pipe and seats on the back of the stub end and the two are kept together by the pressure of the bolts. So there is no direct welding involved between flange and pipe. The piping system is joined by welding the stub end with the pipe as shown in the figure here. Number 5 Blind Flange Blind flanges do not have a center hole, and are used to blind or seal a pipeline, a valve pressure vessel and block the flow of the fluid. Other type of blind flange is spectacle blind flange. A spectacle flange is a specialty flange made of two metal discs attached in the middle by a small section of steel. They are used on piping systems that need to be separated regularly or where the flow through the systems is regularly stopped. One end of the spectacle flange is solid, while the other end has a hole in the center. At number 6 is threaded flange. Threaded flanges are joined to pipes by screwing the pipe, which has a male thread, generally NPT per ASMEB 1.20.1, onto the flange, without seam welds. Threaded flanges are available in sizes up to 4 inches and multiple pressure ratings, however, they are used, mostly, small size piping in low pressure and low temperature applications, like water and air utility services. They are beneficial to use where welding is not possible, 